Hey, look, a different fan. Just kidding, guys. So, everybody, what is going on? I know it's been a little while, but it's another year. Do you know what that means? Does anybody know what that means? If anybody caught my heavy trash day experiment, you'll know exactly what that means. I'm actually behind the camera. One of the things I found on the heavy trash day experiment, this is not day two, but year two. This is 2012, April 23rd, 2012. I don't really plan on going out much and actually doing this on the week, but I decided to go ahead and do it today. I had my little daughter with me. We had a blast. She loved it. Drove around, looked at junk, helped me take apart TVs. It was great. So, for those of you who know what I do on Heavy Trash Day, and actually I'm going to pick this camera up because I'm actually recording off of one of the items that I found. Check out that. That is actually a really nice mirror. This is uh, rounded edges, cut nice. Good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Probably like my shoes. They make fun of me at work, but hey, they were on sale. Alright, so, heavy trash day experiment, for those of you who knew, know what I do, and maybe this light coming on would actually help this video. My, my lights out here are, are pretty nice. They're just kind of dangling from the ceiling. Come on, light! Come on! Yeah, I know, burn my house down. Ah, oh, well, it's not coming on. It'll come on when it warms up. So, here's the deal. Um, heavy trash day experiment. Uh, now, last year, what did I do? Quota. What was the quota? It was five days five TVs recycling magnet wire out of the TVs. If you didn't know, there is a bunch of magnet wire in TVs. On an average, in a, a PC monitor, such as that one right there, um, and you can't really see it, that's an old Dell, there is approximately, right there, that black thing right there, that's magnet wire. And there's approximately 250 foot of magnet wire in every single one of those monitors. Yeah. So TVs are even even more, and uh, I always look for the bigger TVs. Um, the quota, I didn't really have a quota this year. I just kind of went out and drove around and had my daughter with me. We had a great time. I did get to go through the whole area, and I went at like noon, which is really early in the day. But actually, today is the day they pick it up there, so it's probably a good thing that I went out that early. Otherwise, it would all be gone. So, quota last year, five for five days, all right? So what happened this year? So far, and I wasn't trying to meet quota, I got one of these. Now what's interesting, I got two of these. And what's interesting is for those of you who actually have been following my work for a really long time, they know that I have built a rodent coil wrapped on a wire just like this. I have never found one since. This is just epoxied wire together. It's, so it's a, it's a ring of wire. Found two of those. This one's a little different but it's similar and it's probably got the same amount of wire on it. And what's interesting is this I don't know if you can hear that. Okay. Let's see if you can hear it. Alright, see how I feel heavy? That's heavy. Look at, listen to this one. Hear, hear the difference? Alright, yeah, try it again. Alright, ah, hold on. Alright, hear the difference? Alright, you can feel the difference. This is aluminum wire. I don't know if this is aluminum wire, but this is aluminum wire. Don't really care for that. It's got a higher resistance value, but sometimes it might be specialized for something. Um, but that's a good amount, and this is copper. You can feel how heavy it is. Um, so here is another one. Feels like aluminum. Mm, eh, they might be copper. Those are usually pretty light. That came out of a smaller setup. And then I brought this bad boy home. Um, gateway, probably 20 inch or something. It's a big, big thing. And um, I just I couldn't get it apart. This thing is wrapped with metal, and I thought, you know, that'll be good for scrapping. Um, that'll go to the scrap. So this actually, and the only real reason I even grabbed this thing is because it's got two full wraps around it versus the single one. And then it's got a little nice ring wire, and I'll probably take off the ferrite here. I usually don't take the ferrite, but maybe I should start doing that. Um, I did last year, for those of you who know, that TV, which I'm using as a monitor, actually came off the side of the street. Yeah. Off the side of the street, I've been using it for an entire year. It's been out here during the winter and the summer. And it's actually a DLP HD TV. The guy said it had some mirrors bad with it or something. He didn't know. Been using it ever since. Haven't touched it. Either one of the two items that normally go bad on a TV like that, $100 a piece. $200. $200. I looked that TV up. He bought it for $3,000 plus for that TV. 
that's stupid. He just tossed it out. I'm done. Bye, noon. Now, back to this. So, I made my quota, and I did find some really great ring copper coils. That's awesome. Uh, the other thing was this mirror. Now, got more stuff to show you. All right. This is one of the things I found, and it came out of the TV um, with a, uh, the, actually a not a very good amount of magnet wire because it was a box TV. This was a wooden box TV. Those are the ones you really want to find. They usually have a giant spool of wire in them. And I have never seen a flyback transformer with such a big giant core. This core is huge. Let me set the camera down here. It's huge. This actually is a four inch, actually it's 3.75, I get it, it's about right there, about 3.75 inches, and uh, I'm right out, 3.75 inches, you can't see it, that's fine, and it's about, uh, well heck, it's three and a quarter this way, um, and three and three quarter that way, three and a half this way, excuse me, so that's, that's a big, that's a big core for one of those. Um, also did get this capacitor, 250 volts, 460 microfarad, that's not bad, that was actually in there, I took it out actually so my daughter wouldn't get shocked, because there's always capacitors in these puppies, you gotta be careful with them old ones, so that's a good, that was a good find, um, I really, I only grabbed it for this, I could rip it off, but I might actually try playing with this one, I've never seen one like that, it's just epoxy, there's no shielding, there's no covering, that's actually the epoxy, so, yeah, that'll be fun to play with. Um, it actually had a lot of shielding around it. And this whole thing was on there and clamped on there. It, it must produce some big EMF because I've never seen shielding quite like that wrapped around a flyback. And the next adventure. Yeah. This is actually a really good score. Um, widescreen. I don't care for HP, but you know what? You might as well give it a shot. This is a Pavilion ZD8000. I haven't looked it up yet. Um, looks like it's got a Pentium 4, not bad, 128 ATI, I like graphics ATI, I do, um, that's not bad, I did not look at the RAM yet, but heck, if it's 1 gig, that's, that's not bad for an old laptop, it is missing the battery, I believe the hard drive is still in it, and if it's a, a particular type, if it's a uh, IDE, it's okay, if it's, uh, if it's the other one, I can't think of it right now, if it's a SATA hard drive, that would be even better, Windows XP Media Center Edition, Got me another license key if I wanted to play with that. The only thing I could not find is the plug. And this is a stupid looking adapter. So I'll have to just find the voltage on the back here and just go ahead and grab me some. Let's make, make an adapter. Make it work. That's a dumb looking plug. I've never seen one like that. So that's good. Screen is not broken. Um, it looks like somebody attempted to wipe it off and take care of it. So that actually might be a good find. And if nothing else, this thing has a DVD-ROM. DVD RW rewritable, and if you never figured this out, you can make a burning laser pin out of these writers, especially about the 16X. You get a 16X DVD rewritable, um, which is what that is. You can make a burning laser, yes, out of the uh, the laser out of that drive. So that would be a fun experiment. If if you, if nothing else, that'd be a fun experiment. And you could probably sell that screen on eBay for 30 bucks, just the screen. Um, so I might buy the whole thing for more than that. So I might play with that actually because I need a laptop. All my other laptops are twice as old as this thing. So I'll play with it. We'll see what happens. Uh, and last but not least. Yes, that's all I came home with. Last but not least, um, before I show you, the only reason I even got this mirror, I plan on doing some experimenting with HHO and balloons and mirrors and lots and lots of tubing. So when I get to that, I've been planning this for a while. I just It's just going to be fun. I love playing around. I love learning. We're going to learn and play around. But i got to do it in a uh, location where I'm not going to get in trouble from big explosions. Anyway. All right. So the last thing I found. Check it out. I found an e-scooter. Now, believe it or not, just some of the parts on here are worth picking this thing up. Um, I... I'm going to say that there's something very, very, very simple wrong with this. Um, because there always is something very simple wrong with this. Probably just the batteries. Now, I don't know if the company did this or who did this, but these actually are soldered. I've never seen 
I've never seen anybody solder these. So I don't know if, they, if somebody who owned this did or the company did, but they may have not been able to get these apart and thought, well, crap, I can't even replace the battery. So they just chucked the whole thing. Nice little DC motor. Those are always good to have around. You never know, but to be 100% honest, I am probably going to put this thing back together. And I, I actually, this is the second one I found. Um, the other one I found at Goodwill for like two bucks, but this is a different style. And this one looks much more beefy. The other one had a, a rubber tires, and they were flat, so I never got that thing to work um, because the tires are really hard to find. So that was a good score. I can't complain. I'm gonna beat that thing up. Put a maybe put a, a lot more beefy uh, battery pack on that thing and see if we can get it up to 40 miles an hour, hey? Alright, well that's it. I don't want to bore you guys, but I did want to tell you that Heavy Trash Day Experiment has begun again. If you have not watched the other ones, you should. I found some really cool stuff. I'm not going to show you because it ruins the excitement, but I'll, uh, I'll link all those videos in this description so you can go watch them. Um, matter of fact, I'll make a playlist for you. How about that? Alright, and yeah, I actually have been using this TV for uh, an entire year. Um, now, this is a HP, or excuse me, a HD DLP TV. And it has both, uh, uh, it doesn't have the digital input, but it does have the, um, the video input. So I'm using this old server that I got, and I am running my, this is what I do my live chat on actually when I do live shows. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's see here, open up the RWG Research website just for fun here, because I got Pandora up right now, but, um, this keyboard came from work as well, I threw this thing out, I tore it apart and re-glued this mouse part, and, um, it seems to work pretty good, it's kind of a, kind of a rugged keyboard from work there, um, but yeah, this thing's been working for a year and a, uh, well, uh, probably more than a year, a year and a half maybe. Been out here in the cold all winter and the heat all summer and the thing just cooks away. Um, now the one thing that was wrong with it um, supposedly was the little mirror, the DLP mirror thing. It spins. It's like a little color wheel is what it is. That's a hundred dollar item, and the, and the bulb is a hundred dollar item. Yeah, either one of those is a hundred dollar item, and to replace it yourself is you know that's it. Hundred bucks you buy it, that's done. Um, and the bearings were supposedly going out on it, and during the winter, it when it, when you turned it on, it would go. You know, for, I don't know, 10 minutes or more until it got warmed up. Once it got warmed up, it works just fine. So, eventually that thing might die. But it was free. Free. Yeah. I found some other pretty cool stuff. I'm not going to ruin it for you. All right. That's it. Russ out. Russ Start OG Research. Um, I actually have been doing a lot of stuff. But... Nothing really important yet because I haven't got the proper wire for some of the things I'm doing and a few other things. I actually have been doing a bunch of research, been talking to a whole bunch of new people. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to tell you guys. Just haven't had the time to do it and not really enough information to really show you. Um, just been playing around with stuff. But I did finish the VIC with the wrong size secondary. Getting some pretty good argage, but not really anything worth showing anybody because I don't have the right size wire yet. Um, so we'll get to that another day. Russ out. Have a good day. See you guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fan's still there.